Hi, this is George from Upfish, your marketing automation expert. Today I'm going to run you through a sequence of three automations I've put together which should provide a lot of use to a lot of people. What this is going to do is take RSS feeds of topics of interest to you, create brand new blog posts, post those to your website as drafts, whether that be Medium, Shopify or WordPress. It then supports those posts and help you publicize them by putting on social media custom made copy for various social media channels and an accompanying video and photo. So what I'm gonna do is run you through it and show you how to get started. And the big thing this is gonna solve is time. This means that instead of creating content, creating social media, creating images, creating videos and all these collaterals, they'll happen all automatically and all you need to do is spend five to 10 minutes a day just uh, approving them and editing them to make sure that they meet your requirements. So how does this work? Well, we have this automation here. What this does is collect RSS feeds from a, from a Google Sheet. So if I show you an example of one here, I made for a client, Q Music Promotions. They're an amazing company. They help bands, record labels, band managers get their music out in front of a lot of people. So because of that, they have an interest in topics to do with the music industry. So we put together some keywords for them here, um, or rather sources of information. We have sound charts, we have blogs from Spotify, music industry stuff, some other blogs and some other sources related specifically to the music industry. And you can all change that yourself. Now, in order for this to work, we take an RSS feed. So if the company, for example, sound charts, we just go into Google Alerts, we create an alert for things revolving around sound charts and music and music promotion, and then we pop that RSS feed in the RSS feed column. Now, some companies like Spotify, they have their own RSS feeds. So in order to find something like that, if you're unsure if a company does that, you come to the website that they have. So in this case, Spotify for Artists, okay? Once the page loads, you'll check to see if there is an RSS icon available on the screen. In this case, as we can see, there isn't one. But that's not a problem because we can find it ourselves. So in this case, if there's a website that collects news you want, you simply right click on the screen, go to view page source. Okay, that brings up all of this information here and then just do a control F or a command F. Look for RSS. Okay, and then here you'll find basically type application slash RSS plus XML. And this tells us that this is an RSS feed for this site. So we simply copy the H, we just copy the link and then we place it in. So then you will have this sheet here with a feed, a keyword, a type to let you know if it's Google or RSS. This is for future use. If you want to add in more complex sources of information like Google Search Console or your own keywords and whether it's active or inactive, which tells the automation whether to scan for it. So this is all active, it's looking for these feeds. We then retrieve the RSS feeds, this gives us the information, and then we ask ChatGPT to rewrite the content. So pretty simple, you put in the URL and you put in your prompt. So your style, your, your brand, your voice, uh, your expertise, what it is you want this blog to do. And then you ask it to output it in full HTML format. Now, in order to support this, we also want an image. So we asked Dali to create an image. Um, you can have this as just something generic the whole time. In this case, I have uh, an image of a live band playing in front of an audience, but you can change that to be dynamic based on the fields too. It's really up to your own imagination limitations. This information is stored in a Google Doc, and then we add it back into the content row. So if I come back to my Excel, I have another tab of topics. And what this will do is it'll put in a new title, It'll put in a summary, it'll put in the keyword it's related to, so I got the information from and the type, a link to the Google Doc and the Google Doc ID, and it marks the status as for review. So basically every morning you can come in here, you see, all right, this is items to review. Now you can tell just by looking at the title and the summary if this is of interest to you, in which case you can just ignore it or even delete the row. But if you think it's something that you want to get into, you simply open the Google Doc, it comes up with the information, and then you can just go through it to edit it, okay? And now once you've edited it, you'll just mark it as a different status and say, for example, I want this to be approved, All right? So once it's approved, we go into the second automation. So at this point, we have content, we have a title, we have an image. Uh, what we need to do now is post that content online and generate some copy to support it. So what this will do is it will look for sheets in that Excel, in the Google Sheets, I should say, sorry, with that new status and then it will put it onto the website. So it gets the blog content from a Google Doc module and it will post it to, in this case for my client, post it on Shopify as a page and we mark it as draft so that 
again, there's another layer of human interaction just to make sure that it's not posting nonsense. So every day they can just go in every week, they can go to their Shopify drafts, approve it and post it. Same goes for Medium here. We just put it into the HTML text and the content, set the publish status to draft and it will get posted. And then we add those links to the Google Doc. So here we have a column where we have a link to the spot of Shopify and a link to the Medium. So again, you can just check those on your own. And then the next important part now that the content is out there is to support it with cool social materials. So what we'll do next, we have two rows. The bottom one I'll address first. So the next stage is to get an images and also some copy. So it asks ChatGPT to take that content I wrote and create some copy for Twitter. So this is short form stuff. And then some longer form stuff as well for LinkedIn and Reddit. And then I'll update the row with that information. So here we have a copy for uh, we have a copy for Reddit, we have the copy for LinkedIn, this is slightly longer form stuff, but we also wanted to create shorter form stuff and for um, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. So for this, we want a video to support it. So first off, we go to Pexels and we ask it to take a random page number. So I have a query, in this case again, music, band, live. You can change this to your own particular needs or use a dynamic field. Um, I already know that when I search for this, I'm going to get 8,000 different pages, um, 8,000 results and 10 different pages. So I ask it to pick a random page from between one and 10. And once it's generated that, I then ask, I iterate them to get all of the results. And then I pick one of those fans that are random. So the same thing here, I ask for a bundle and I ask for a random number between the amount that it has um, generated. So based on that, I get a cool random video. I also want to get content for the video titles. So I asked ChatGPT to summarize the blog into five short sentences. And then I asked ChatGPT to create some copy for the social media I need to put out. And I add that to the video. And once that's all approved, it goes into the Google Sheet. So again, you can just go through it. You can check it manually to see, does this text make sense? Does this text make sense? Does the copy make sense? Do I want to change anything? Do I want some edits? Once you mark that, then you change it to ready to post. And then the third automation comes into play. So at this stage, you have your content written, you have it posted and as a draft, you have copy ready to go. Now you just need to put together the photos and the videos. So the first stage is to go back to that Google Sheet and get the information it needs. Here, it's gonna create an image. So we ask Creatomate, which is an amazing tool I'll go into. And what I want it to do is I have a template built up. So I ask it to just replace the image with the photo I pulled earlier and with the text I pulled earlier too. And then it combines them all together into something like this. Now, I wanna be clear, this is not a finished, uh, a finished article. Uh, the thing here is when Creator Mate, you can make templates. So I just made this very simple as a proof of concept. I want an image and I want text over it. But in Creator Mate, you can go deeper. So you can ask it to put in a background, for example, over the text, which is yellow, change the text color to my brand colors, uh, change the image saturation filters, all of this stuff. So the website you'll want to use for this is called Creator Mate. And as an example here of some images, you can see here, it's just this case of building the right template for your business. So before you start the automation, make sure you have a template for the photos. And then I'll show you the template for the video. After I have the photo, it pulls the URL and also downloads the file. And then I get the video text I have earlier. And I basically ask it to break that up into the five sentences. So my original prompt for my template is a video with five text overlays and five audio messages. So here I have one text, two text, three text, four text, five text. And then I ask Eden AI to essentially turn that into a voice using 11 abs. So this will be audio voice over one, voice over two, voice over three, voice over four, voice over five. Now that's quite a lot for social media. So again, this is very easy to modify. You can just delete two of these and turn it into three text overlays. Now I need to turn this into a video. So what I do here, come back to Creator Mate. In this case, I'm using a template for a video I have. So I put in the template ID, I change the video to the URL that I've pulled from Pexels. I changed the text to the text that I've created in my text parser. And I changed the voiceover to the URLs that I've generated from this particular 11 labs. And what it will do, it will put them all together into something like this. This is a test. So it takes the video, it takes the text, it puts it over, it creates something, the particular audio I have for this uh, Test file is just a, a computer saying this is a test, this is a test, so I won't play it for you, but it does work. Now, at this point, we have a video, we have a photo, 
I've downloaded, the next stage is to just download the image of the photo in case I need it. And you can also download the video too. I, I usually just use the URL it generates, but if you wanna save this in somewhere like your Google Drive or your Dropbox, it's also fine. Next stage is just a sleep timer, 120 seconds, because I wanna give these enough time to render properly. And then you post. So here we're posting on Instagram for business, Facebook pages, Reddit, and LinkedIn. We use a combination of the videos and the photos and the text copy created earlier in the process. But if you want to streamline this even further, you can just replace all of these modules with something like Buffer or Social Bee or whatever your social media tool of choice is. And we'll just upload those as drafts to post out before finally in the final step coming into Google Sheets to mark it all as done. So what does this mean for you? It means that to prepare for this, you need to create a template in Creator Mate for photos, a template in Creator Mate for videos. And once you have that, everything will run smoothly. Um, you also ahead of time need to have RSS feeds of interest. Uh, so basically what this will do is create the content for you on your behalf based on interest that you've already predefined. If you don't want to use RSS feeds, you can just add in keywords. It's a minor, minor change to make or link it directly to your Google search console to create information based on the key. So if this is of interest to you, I'm very, very excited. This is something, this is a very basic version of something more complex I've built for a client. Uh, but as it stands right now, I think it's in a good place for people watching this to take it and run with it and change it to something that makes sense for them. Um, if you'd like me to do that for you, please just get in touch, george at upfish.co or reach out to me on LinkedIn. My details are in the info of this video. All right, thank you very much for watching.